Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today to show you how to make multimodal vocabulary lists for your students using ThingLink and Google Sites. So here I am in a ThingLink, and let me show you what a ThingLink can do real quick. This is Robespierre, a figure in the French Revolution, and let's say I want to give him a definition. So with this tag, I put an image, and I put my definition, and then here, this will actually play it out loud. It will read the definition to students, and it will actually show the students the words as it reads. It's really useful. Here, I put a YouTube video in. This All this is is a YouTube video of me giving a two minute rundown on Robespierre so they hear my voice and they see my face and I made that with Screencastify. From there I can build out the definition by just adding some more a political cartoon. Let's see here another you know Robespierre being arrested. Here's Robespierre off to the guillotine and again for anything with text ThingLink will read to the students. So let's say I'm, I'm happy with my ThingLink. I click done and then I click share I go here and all I have to do is click that copy code. Now let's go into Google Sites because let's make this a list of vocabulary terms. And so here's a Google site and here I have another vocabulary term. So if I just double click in an empty space, I've already written Rose Pierre's name. And I go here for the embed icon, that yellow embed icon. And this is going to be an actual embed code. It's not by URL, so I have to click embed code. And then I right click to paste and click next and it gives me a little preview great I see what I want I hit insert and now I'll just drag it down just to make it so that it goes full length these are kind of portrait images here if I hit the preview button I can see a list of multimodal vocabulary and for all of these terms they have a definition but they also have me uh, in a video about it, and I add more images. So you just add and give it give students multiple ways to kind of access and learn these vocabulary terms, and it's is especially nice on touchscreen Chromebooks. That's where it really, really looks nice. So that is multimodal vocabulary list using ThingLink and Google Sites.